So then you hold it, and then it turns on. So now it's going up. So now it's recording? Yes. <laughs> oh, hello. Hola. Want to hear my punny joke? So we got this thing called the Smooth. So mobile. Right now, we are recording <laughs> on this thing called the Smooth Mobile. S M O V E. S O M S M O V E. I spelled it right the first time. You. And <laughs> as she was saying, this is what's recording it. So it's actually really, like, I can like move it up and down. And if I wanted to, it can, like, track our faces. Um, but, but it's really cool. The, yeah. The box is over there. But it's, it? it has, like, yeah. So we got this cool thing for recording. So there it is. So it has, like, a gimbal, and it's for iPhones and for GoPros. Anyways, so it's called the Smooth. And so Tucker turned it it's on. so smooth, though. Uh, and he turned it on, and it did a little gimbal thing. And I was like, wow, that's so smooth. <laughs> like, smooth. I died at it. I did so good. I'm so bunny. You're so bunny. I am. So, hold on. I wanna. I'm nervous. Okay. Whoa. Not that far. Too much. Right now you're out. So it's just, it's still getting this. It's just blocked out right there. Oh. Like great. That's okay. Cool. Sweet. So, it's time to talk. Talk. T T A L K. We're calling talk, this talk. the Tucker Talk. No. <laughs> I'm a part of this. It's the for word of time talking time. The for word of chat. Yeah, the for word. Yeah, I like that. The for word of chat. So basically, we're going to go over what we did this week, our goals for next week, kind of chat. If you guys have any questions or whatever, let them know in the comments below. And Family we will info, answer them. Future goals, future things, Business current stuff, things. Business stuff, baby stuff. Family stuff. Family stuff, life so stuff, talk. parenting stuff, pregnancy stuff, anything. Future really. stuff, past future. stuff. So anything, just comment below and we'll answer in the next week. But for this week, babe, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about, we've been trying sales. to. Sales. Just kidding. Sales. Sales, sales is, is like what a brings us together. Oh today. yeah, brings us together. Today. Office quote. Office pun. So we're we've been trying to buy a house. We've been looking at houses. Houses in here in Utah are crazy expensive right now. Um, well, here's the thing: they're getting more expensive because the market's going up. But like the homes that are not like that we are looking the homes for, that we're looking for are like gone like that. Yeah. So and then the houses that we can like. I mean, we can go and drop a... We're just... We're not people that drop tons of money on stuff. We're well, like more, right? we are, but the right things. We're yeah. just We're just very, like, we're settled right now. Plus, we also have a baby. Plus, we also are... We just don't want to buy, like, a lower-end house. We just want to buy a buy a nice end, house. A nice house, like a place that we like. The other places that we looked at, one was, like, built for midgets... The other one... Ugh, it was so bad. Yeah, like, you had a still, duck under... Yeah, it was yeah. so bad. And there was one that was 100 years old, and it smelled so smelled like bad. Cats. So, um, we've got that going. We can go um, and get, like, a house if we really wanted to, but a lot of what we're doing is we're putting, like, a ton of money that we've got going on back into our businesses. Yeah. So, with her blog... We reinvest. That's going in, and then my stuff going in. Um, so, yeah, we're just putting our ducks... Up in a row, so that's something that we've been that we've got. Yeah, going on. we've been looking, but probably you know within the next year. Within the next year, for sure. We, I know we want to be in a house before we have our next kid. But who knows whenever that is? Oh. You kidding? We're not pregnant. You're having triplets? Oh my gosh, we're having quadruples. Lists. Quadruples. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what's going on there. So that's what we got. Um, parenting wise, doing really good, Bobby. So. I just noticed that Bobby's You're like sleeping. Super excited right now. I am like super excited. Anyways, so Bobby has been. It is eight forty eight. Bobby has been. How do you? How would you explain it? She doesn't like. She was in a phase where she didn't like going to people, that weren't us. Um. So like either of his family or my family, she would take a while to warm up. 
to the place and then she would go off and adventure but like she did not like really anyone holding her like they would hold her and then she would just cry for one of us and it was getting really hard to like do anything with family because of that but today it was amazing today was awesome she did so good she, we had so tons we had, of family today yeah tons of family her side and my side and then she just like she like asked to like see people yeah she asked to see people she hung out she played with people she ventured on her own she didn't cry when they took her from us to hold her and take her out it was just so amazing yeah, was cool. i was so impressed really so, cool one thing that we've been working on um is to focus nice well, I was seeing if it was still coming. Oh, so, so we pretty. focus more on the positives of parenting instead of the negatives. So, like, um, instead of saying, like, oh, why did you spill that? Or stop doing this, don't do that, know this, know that. We've changed it into more of a, when she's doing something that good, that we reward her for doing that with, like, praise. And so today... So she did so good with both of our families and just with people in general. We thanked her for, you know, being so cooperative and being happy and fun and going to people. And also to help boost her self-esteem and self-confidence, we've also started saying, um, you should feel proud of what you just did. And so as she grows up and we keep saying this, it's going to instill in her like, oh, self-accomplishment. Um, that is something really big So then big she'll be self-driven. So then yep. she won't be dependent on other people. She'll be able to master yep. like her own things on and her own time. And she'll feel really proud of and herself. She'll, yeah, she'll, so like she'll be uh, more engaged and more willing to actually go do things because she knows that there's a great uh, reward mm -hmm. at the end of it instead of just like, oh, like do I have to do this yeah. again? So we're just trying to, um, I mean, we're trying to do that for her, obviously, but more, more we're just trying to establish like positive parenting with us, like positive mm -hmm. parenting habits uh, with us first. Yep. If, uh, just so as she gets older we already have like yep. an awesome and, game plan and guys she's one and she's doing amazing like we've started doing it having her help clean up her messes yep. before at one year lunch. at one year old we've had her clean we're having her clean up her markers so whenever she wakes up she just like throws everything yeah, we don't care she can yeah. make the biggest mess that she wants to make but she has to clean it up after she just that's has to a clean rule up. and then what we're also doing is um, we're teaching her sign language too so oh yeah so she's she learned, knows she knows like five knows, different words yeah she knows all done she goes like this <laughs> it's it's, so this. it's like this is all done but like, like she it's her own like she'll she get them but she does all done more, more. um or wait yeah that's yeah, more more milk um please she just got and what's the other one is that it all done milk please more we're teaching her thank you now so thank, thank you, you and food and food or wait, food. Food, this is eat. Yeah. Eat food. Eat. Anyways, but yeah, she's just really good with that. So that's one thing that we've started to do. Also positive parenting, positive reinforcement. But yeah, like anytime she like, like I said, makes a mess, we I help her, we help her clean up her mess. And then after we clean it up, I take a step back and I thank her for cleaning up her mess and show her like, look, Bobby, look what you just did. That is a big accomplishment. You should feel proud of yourself for cleaning up your mess. Um, so she always, she does that. That's something we started on. Also, something really cool. Um, Bobby used to pinch. Real, mm -hmm. It hurt so bad. She Not would just get like long, pinch, but she would scratch too. Like scratch like, and yeah, she goes like this and then grab like the soft spots of your arms, mm -hmm. spots of your arms and pinches really bad. So we are like, that's not okay, but we do not believe in hand smacking or, you know, things like that. And so I was like, okay, cool. Well, guess what? She is going to get a variation of timeout. Um, so she has her pack and play set up in our room and anytime she would pinch, we'd say no pinching and we'd go stick in our pack and play for 60 seconds. And then we don't, you don't readdress, address it. You don't readdress saying like, after you get out, you don't say it again. You totally change the subject. You change your feelings, you change your attitude. So you get her out, you're all happy and you're like, woohoo, you totally changed. She doesn't pinch anymore. It's amazing. It's really cool. She she used to pinch all the time. Yeah, it used to and be after, constantly. After just doing those little, like, okay, since it's you pinched like and good, since like, you haven't stopped pinching, we're just going to play you. Put you in your pack and play for 60 seconds. Yep. We're just going to lay for the room for 60, 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. We're going to count it. And then after that, we don't bring up what we did. Like, we just, just, we it's just changed. Just new, new slate. Rinse, yep. repeat. Yep. Just she new, just got clean, clean slate. That's it. And it probably took her about, about two, three weeks mm -hmm. to stop doing it. Now, yeah. the only time I have noticed that she does pinch is when I am totally distracted and she's trying to get my attention, she does pinch. 
Um, but I mean, we're still trying to teach her, like, hey, if you want my attention, teach her patience. Be like, mm-hmm. I, I, anytime that she's trying to get my attention, I'm busy with something, I'll acknowledge that I understand she needs attention right now, but I have to finish something, and she'll usually go off and play, and then I'll finish and go back and play with her. Yep. So that's kind of things, some parenting things that we're doing good. Doing. She's starting to try to walk, um, which is cool. She's, she's taking a few steps. She is. Yep. She's getting there. We bought her a walker for her birthday. Yes. So funny. She'll like push it forward and like go as far as she can, and then she'll walk her feet up and then push. <laughs> <laughs> walk her feet right up. She doesn't quite get to like step step, but she's getting there. So, anyways, what about business wise? What's going on with you? I am really busy. Really busy. Lots of stuff going really on. Busy. I've been playing. Uh, one of my clients. Um, they've, so I've got a client who's made three hundred thousand dollars with sales funnels and uh, yeah, Thanks just basically move. sales funnels. And he's a Fortune five hundred consultant. He's been selling his trainings and courses to like uh, other people who are part of his list, like his email list, his um, like friends on Facebook. So during the past five months, since it was it was March eleventh when he first grabbed this. A software system and then he's made 300 grand and then he's on his way probably this time next year to hit um, seven figures uh, in a sales funnel so that's really cool so awesome. what I'm trying to do is get my foundations up so that I can continue to help people do the same stuff mm-hmm. um, I've got a, I've got a real estate investor he's doing he's making forty two thousand dollars per month uh, passively from uh, investing in real estate so that's really cool so I'm helping him set up his foundations yep. and sales funnels and everything like that just so that we can uh, crush that out so yeah. super cool I'm really excited really stoked it's so awesome today I just spent a lot of like time thinking about what I want to be doing uh, for them and how I want to be helping mm-hmm. them the best way possible just kind of a more like reflective mood today uh, which has been good we try to we so we decided that we wanted to start Sundays as like reflection self improvement <laughs> Product placement. <laughs> um, setting Sundays as like self improvement, self development, development, reflection, reflections, things for the next week, and things like that. So that's really awesome. Good job. What about you? Your mm. your stuff. Hello. Um. So yeah, my stuff. So my blog's doing really good. I this month of july has been my biggest month of blogging and as um not in view wise but it might be here in the next couple of days because it's july 29th she still has about two more days left Mm -hmm. in this um, month so we're gonna see if she can actually make this month her biggest month view wise but it's definitely been her biggest month revenue oh yeah revenue revenue wise money wise from her blog so it's really cool so that's really really awesome so i'm really start excited about that i'm really happy i'm I hit that. So, anyways, that's going really well. I'm kind of shifting some things around because I'm learning new, new things. And I found um, before I noticed, because like my blog is a mommy blog, so check it out. I'll have the link the below. Below, it's called Dollar Mommy Club. It's basically it was I started it as like a generic kind of mom blog, but I realized just like this past week that you know like when I became a mom, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know how to be like. How do you, you can't really prepare to be a mom like you can to some degree but like once you have a kid that's totally different and so that's what I started wanting to do I want to help you know young moms first time moms kind of get adjusted to life with their new baby um, also first time pregnancy women just because it's so different than like what you would think it was or is and so um, anyways that's kind of like the shift I'm going but I'm really excited I'm really crushing out last week was a little hard just because I had some brutally, not brutal, I had some super honesty people tell me things I needed to change up about my blog, and that kind of like... And she didn't want to accept it. Yeah, that I didn't want to accept it, stubborn. and I was being stubborn, and I was feeling hurt, although I shouldn't have been because it was constructive criticism, and it's not like they were being rude, they were just giving me their honest opinion, and which I really didn't need. she did the right thing, so what I've noticed too is if I'm trying to do something... Anytime that I want to do and learn something, I always do it and learn it best whenever there's like the right person guiding me and the right support mm-hmm. system because then it shaves off like literally, it's like a mastermind, years. right? So like years of like trying to struggle oh, and do everything is like doing everything yourself. So I told her, I was like, hey, go inside this forum, yep. post about it. And I did it. I overcame my fear. I was terrified. I was so scared. Guys, yeah. I was so scared. I'm not a very put forth my 
like put forth things type of person. She doesn't I'm like very, being vulnerable. Like, yeah, I t- she likes hated. she likes being perfect all the time. And I'm like, dude, the only way you can grow is if you break down yourself a little bit, because then you get all yes. you get all scarred up and whatnot. But those but scars turn into stronger. yeah, it makes you stronger. So, so that was really hard for me to conquer last week, but I did it, and I, I'm really proud of myself. I messaged him after letting him know I did it and I felt really good like I really did I was so scared and it probably took me about like 30 minutes to an hour to write it because I was just like no should I yes I should no I should yes I should so I did it and I overcame my fears and that was something awesome Ooh. and I I'm wanting to start to at least overcome one fear a week um just be, just to get myself out there I know it's kind of cool it writes on it huh so anyways so that's going really good so anyway that has been our past week month almost a year so we want to be doing these videos at least a little bit more consistently um i noticed that on her or like our her whatever the like um it says we're going to be posting videos like every monday which we haven't been doing so we do apologize but yeah we want to (laughs) get hashtag mom life we want to get this back up (laughs) so anyway comment below subscribe like do all that fun stuff about this week oh yeah what are we doing this week before same stuff. That. I'm doing the yep. same stuff. Same stuff. Just crushing stuff out. Cut baby stuff. Blog stuff. Business stuff. Mm-hmm. Relationship stuff. Not really. We just love each other. That's true. We do. We love each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love my husband. He's the bestest in the world, huh? Dang Anyways, straight. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to try to do these more regular. Called a, what do you call them? Florida. For word of chats. Oh, yeah. For word of chats. We're going to do the for word of chats. So, if you guys have anything, like I said, comment below. Also, like and subscribe. 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 Ugh, pound, pound that button. Subscribe. And then let us know. Like that. What are you guys doing this week? Tell us what you're doing this week and how we can help you. Yep. Okay. Peace. Bye.